Welcome to the stunning OG box hop shipping container home in Hocking Hills, Ohio. This is one of the best container homes I have ever been to. Let's now go and start the tour. Welcome to this incredible two-story shipping container home. This is one of my favorite sides of the exterior because you can see very clearly how exactly these containers are stacked on top of each other. But let's now go and walk in this direction to the front exterior. And welcome to the jaw-dropping front exterior. Not only is there this impeccable design on the home, but you also have a ton of outdoor space, just windows and glass and doors everywhere that you look. The home is made up of three containers total, two 40-foot containers on the bottom, and an additional 40-footer more clearly seen here on the top, which makes up the second floor. This is a sneak peek of one of the bedrooms that we'll check out later. Still outside, you have a nice large outdoor sitting area that surrounds one of those fancy gas fireplaces. They're very easy to turn on and really needed during the colder months in Ohio. It can get very chilly in this area. Trust me, I would know. Now we're gonna go to the other end of this deck and walk on over to your grill. And if you walk even further down, this will eventually take you to your hot tub. I'm going to take off the cover now and you could fit the entire family or your entire group inside of this thing. It is pretty huge. And if you look above us now, there's also a bunch of string lights that run all over the trees here on top of your hot tub. Looking this way, there's a lot of privacy out here and this is one of my favorite angles of the home. But that's pretty much it for the front exterior. I'm now gonna head briefly to the backyard where you can find a more traditional wood fire pit waiting for you. So if the gas fireplace in the front isn't doing it for you, you can make your typical fire here in the backyard. There's also this nice swinging chair next to the home. It's super comfy. That will conclude the exterior portion of the tour. So I'm now gonna walk up these stairs and open up these large main doors. This will take us inside of the entry hall. Let's now go and explore the interior. When you first enter, you'll get a glimpse into the living room, dining area, and the kitchen. You have this bright rug in the entry area, which makes quite the statement. It cannot be missed when you first walk in, but I'll focus briefly along this wall of what I'll call the mudroom area. I'll take off my shoes and put them on the shoe tray because I'm a good guest, and you can also hang up your jacket here. We'll start first with these two rooms in this corner. I'll go through this door on the far left, and this will take us into bedroom number one of three. All three bedrooms in this container home come with double beds. I love the color scheme and interior design in this one. It felt simple yet modern and elegant at the same time. There's also plenty of windows in this room. Container builds don't often have the best natural light, but these owners did a great job. At the end of the bed, I'm going to open up this smaller door and this takes us into the in-suite bathroom. This is definitely my favorite bathroom in this container home. You have this gigantic bathtub. I feel like it takes up almost like half of this bathroom along with those gorgeous subway tiles and even more white and eye-catching tiling along the floor. In this corner, finally, you have a modern sink setup and two shelves with some extra towels. Let's walk further into the home now, into the main area, which has your living room and dining table. As you can see, the natural light hits this entire space perfectly in the afternoon. But let's first focus more on the living room. You have plenty of seating options, as you can see. If you walk even further in, you have this little reading nook, I will call it, in the corner. You have a nice little table next to it and this comfortable chair. And there are some books lying around, which can be found on the other end of the living room, close to the spiral staircase. You have this long shelf here with a ton of books. And there's also this little guitar on the wall, which I attempted to play. Okay, okay, we're done. I'm sorry, no more. Focus, Michael. So, 
Back into the living room, you have this huge, comfortable couch. It's very plush. You basically sink right into it. I almost fell asleep on it multiple times. You also have a gas fireplace and a smart TV. Now, right next to your huge couch, I'm going to slide back this cool black door. And you have a washer and dryer unit back here. This was greatly appreciated because I got caught in the rain one afternoon while shooting. I'm so glad they have this. Next up, we'll head to the dining table. The color matches with the couch perfectly, and you have these three hanging light fixtures right above the table. There's also these two big benches on either side and a couple of extra chairs. Right next to your table, you also have these giant sliding doors, so I can pull them back just to give you a reference to where we are from inside to out, and you can easily access your outdoor deck. Let's head back in though and close up these doors because I wanna to go to the final space on this main floor. That is the kitchen. If you walk down a little bit further, you can see there's that nice sign that says, welcome to the OG box hop. And you have these two stools next to the counter. Let's now get a bit closer and walk behind the counter. You have this beautiful tile backsplash. All of your appliances like your microwave and stovetop and your dishes can be found out on those shelves. I even noticed here next to the coffee maker, they leave this for all of their guests. They had a custom coffee brew called the Box Hop Brew. Finishing up now, I'm gonna pan more to the right and you can see your large sink. There's also one of those cool retro looking Smeg refrigerators. It is bright orange and cannot be missed. That will do it for everything on this bottom floor. So I'm now gonna walk up this long black spiral staircase because we have the entire second floor left still to explore. When you first come up, you'll notice this little sitting area right next to the spiral staircase. We're gonna walk in that direction. You have this big blue chair up against the corner and a plant and side table. Let's now walk into this room. You'll first notice this gigantic glass window pane as soon as you walk in. We are now on the second floor bedroom, the same one that we saw earlier from the drone, just to give you another perspective of where we are in the home. And this is now your actual bed. It's another double bed. This room is a bit more of a yellow and black color scheme. That entire wall on the right hand side is just coated in pure black, which I really liked. And this view that you wake up to every morning is pretty epic. Looking down the same hallway, there's still a lot more for us to see, but for the time being, I want to focus on this large garage door. So I'm gonna open this baby up and it'll take us outside to another outdoor deck. So if you're sleeping in one of the second floor bedrooms and you're too lazy to go downstairs to the ground floor or to your backyard area, you can just come on up here. So you have plenty of outdoor space to pick from at the OG box hop. You can even get up here as well via this other staircase case in the front and you have four chairs surrounding this little table waiting for you at this outdoor deck. It's time to check out the other half of the second floor so I'm now going to walk past the garage door and the deck that we just visited and go inside this room and this is the second bathroom here in this Airbnb. It has some similarities to the bathroom we saw downstairs especially the sink area and again you have no shortage of towels at all at this container home but the owners continue to have great taste in their tile selection both on the floor and the black tiles that we see here inside of this modern shower. Last but certainly not least, I'm gonna go to the end of the hall, past the bathroom, and come into the final bedroom here at this Airbnb. This is the exterior drone perspective. You can see we're looking into the backyard now. The swinging chair is beneath us, but this is my favorite bedroom, I think. I really love that lighting fixture, very eye-catching, obviously. It looks to me basically like a neon snake is what I thought of the first time I saw it. You also have some pillows in this corner, and this is just a really cool spot to lay in bed and gaze out into the woods. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you very soon for another Airbnb tour.